pickup wing stop that I decided to order kind of late it's I don't know if I should tell you guys the time it's not midnight it's 11 p.m. a little past 11 and I've been craving wing stop I was gonna get it earlier and I was like no I'm gonna get food at the house which I did like I made myself like a snack when I got home but it was just like ugh. I still want wing stop so I filmed a bunch of content also I've been uploading editing I'm trying to get a little bit caught up on videos because I'm trying to be up to date well closer to up to date by like November maybe like by November be a month behind instead of three months behind so that's my goal <clears throat> but we're still my vlog channel is still in June and so is the videos on this channel if you're watching it at this point but anyways I had a random thought as I was leaving my house so like um towards the end of summer okay this is just rant me thinking I'm like do cockroaches hibernate because I feel like cockroaches disappear during the fall and the winter like I only really see cockroaches in like the garage during the spring and summer so I'm like do cockroaches hibernate or something in the winter um and fall I mean I've never thought to look this up but I'm just like I at night is usually when I will see them like if I leave my house at night and I open my garage usually I'll see like roaches trying to run away but I'm just like as soon as it starts getting cold I feel like they just disappear I'm like where do they go where do all these roaches be going you know I don't know random thought of the day I guess anyways I'm trying I've been filming a lot of content I made filmed a makeup video today for my beauty channel I finally reviewed the Rick and Morty and I have a bunch of makeup I still need to review because the thing is I honestly I, I always tell people I have um, shopping problems but I've realized like I buy so much freaking makeup and then like don't even use it or I forget to use it for a minute and don't use it for a while so I have like all of this new makeup that I purchased just sitting in my room and I'm like I need to actually use the makeup that I buy because it's like wasting space essentially and I guess that's true with like a lot of the things that I purchase like the juicy purses I'm like I purchase them and then I use my purses I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't use or wear my purses because there's some people who collect them keep the tags on them and never even take them out like it's just they're just co like actual collectors you know like the people who have them on display well I would hope those people still use them but I've seen like people's juicy couture collections and they're like so nice and neat in their bookshelves I'm like they they have to still have like the paper in them my juicy bags get used they are shoved in my closet with the rest of my purses because I actually like like I buy them because I like to wear them I love I just really like juicy couture bags so anyways one thing I will say though like recently I will go to stores like TJ Maxx, Burlington Ross, all of the stores that I like shopping at, usually for juicy couture bags. But recently, I feel like I've, I feel like I've satisfied my juicy couture um, purse itch. I don't know how to describe it because now when I go to the stores, I'll see so many juicy couture bags and I don't even care to buy them. I'm just like, oh yeah, that's cute. And it really just comes down to it. And there's been like ones that are really cute, but I'm like, if I have too much of one style, like I'm a collector, but I'm not a hoarder. And I, the only way I can make, make it make sense 
to y'all i don't want to have five of the same thing hoarders they want like every single style every single color of every single one that they can find like they want to have well i guess that's a collection collector i don't know y'all i made a video trying to differentiate like being a hoarder versus being a collector i don't consider myself a hoarder i really just consider myself a um collector of cute things <laughs> a collector of cute things and also just someone who has a shopping problem and likes buying new things all the time even though i don't need them but anyways i don't want to buy something if it's like very similar to something i already have like if i'm buying something it's it's because it's something that's unique and i don't have anything like it like i don't want to have something that looks close to what i have like i'll see people that have the same bag like there's very few purses that i have that are like i have the same exact bag just in different colors but i typically don't like to get the exact same bag in multiple colors like if i have this bag in one color already i don't want that same exact bag just in a different color like i want a unique style bag that i don't have already because i just don't like having the same things i like my i like the things that i get i want them to be unique i want them to be different i want them to be and don't tell me it's limited edition because that'll get me all the way so the other thing i also noticed like collab items are the ones that i really like buying and maybe it's just like i'm very caught up in overconsumption right now because i've been shopping for so long but i made it i did share also like i don't want to be over consuming things so i do find myself not buy, like if i do go shopping whereas i used to be like everything i think is cute i'm getting it i'm a lot more picky and selective like it's hard sometimes but i try to be a lot less picky like i would typically want to buy like every single thing that i thought was cute and i guess when i was doing that it really was like i was having a um i was doing imp shopping impulsively and just buying things to buy them sometimes but and usually my impulsive shopping is when i end up buying the same things twice on accident which has happened a few times but for the most part i feel like whereas i used to go shopping and i would get like 10 plus items and i would just wanted to get as many things as i as i could now i'm like i don't usually get more than three items at most from any store it's like on a very rare occasion am i buying a lot of items at once so i do think that's like good that's a good step in the right direction like i'm being a lot more selective i'm thinking about things before buying them now the other part of that too is like i'm not at the point yet where i can just completely be like i don't need it but i'm better at saying no to certain things so like i'll put things in my cart and then i'll think about it walk around a little bit and be like actually i don't need this like i did that today at burlington i went to ross i went to a lot of places today and i didn't end up buying anything but at tj maxx today and at tj maxx i bought three items and that was it so i do think i'm getting better now whether or not i'm doing things the way other people think i should do them that's another thing i'm doing things and working on my problems the way that is best for me lord this car scared me just now because they did not look like they was trying to slow down <gasps> oh y'all i saw blue lights and i just think i think i just had a ptsd i thought i was getting pulled over i was like what did i do i just i just turned i just turned the light was green i got ptsd y'all from my um arrest i do not <sighs> i never want to have an encounter with police ever again 
I don't want to be pulled over for nothing. Not a traffic violation, not a dang thing. Now I will say, the only time I did actually, and I had to call the police after I was arrested because someone broke into my car. And I think I talked about it. This happened a while ago at this point, but I think I did a story time about when someone broke into my car. They broke my window, busted my window. They didn't take anything, but yeah, that happened. And I had to call the police. They did like a police report, but literally it's pointless. And they basically are just like, oh, um, they couldn't get any fingerprints. So it was like nothing could be done. And I just had to pay for a new window for my car. So that's how that went. Anyways, I'm at Wingstop now, so I will talk to you guys later.